Hey guys, this is my first YouTube review and I will be reviewing HP Envy TouchSmart 15J134NA laptop. It's a great laptop, so watch the review and decide whether it's for you, I guess. So we'll start off with some technical details. So firstly, it has an i7 processor. It's a fourth gen Haswell i7, the 4702MQ, which has Intel HD graphics 4600. Uh, although this laptop does have a dedicated graphics card with it. So this processor is 2.2 gigahertz. It has a six meg catch and it has four physical cores, but also has hyper-threading, which puts it up to eight threads. Uh, it also has a max turbo frequency of 3.2 gigahertz. And being Haswell, it's quite power efficient with its maximum power usage of 37 watts. So the laptop also has 16 gig of DDR3 clocked at 1600 megahertz. Uh, it's placed in as two 8 gigabyte chips. It has a dedicated graphics card, which is an NVIDIA GeForce GT750M with 4 gigabytes DDR3. It also has Beats Audio with 4 speakers and 2 subwoofers, and I'll tell you now, it does pack a punch. It's very good quality sound for a laptop. It has a front-facing webcam, uh, HP TrueVision, nothing too fancy. It's 15.6 inch screen, touch screen. It has 10 touch points, so you can use all of your fingers if you ever find a program that needs all 10 fingers and thumbs. It seems accurate. Um, the only thing that I might flaw with the touch screen part is that the screen can occasionally wobble a little bit whilst using it, but I've not found that to be too much of a problem really. It weighs 2.56 kilograms, so it's not too heavy. I think it's average for a, a decent, good quality build laptop. It's supplied with a 120 watt AC power adapter. It comes with a 1.5 terabyte uh, Samsung Mementus hard drive at 5400 RPM. The case is mostly plastic. Um, it seems a good quality plastic, uh, it's certainly nice to the touch, um, so the screen is plastic and so is the underside, um, but opened up, it's metal. That also goes for the sides of the laptop, they are also metal. So as you can see on the left side, there is a multi-format SD card reader. There are two USB 3 ports, one of which is an always on port for charging mobile devices. That means that it will charge even if the laptop itself is turned off. I believe this is 3 amps. So next to that is the HDMI port. Then you have the cooler grate which personally I don't think looks too bad. Um, and then lastly on that side is the uh, Kensington lock. Moving over to the right side, there is a headset port. Not separate uh, headphone and microphone anymore, both built into the same. So if you've got two separate devices, you'll need an adapter there. There's another two USB 3 ports there. Uh, then the Ethernet port, which has a little springy holder, which can be a bit of a fiddle to get in, but it's not too bad. Um, and then there's just two lights next to that for the Ethernet. And then at the rear we have the charge light and the power adapter input, power input. On the bottom there is the battery, which is easy to access. There are little pads that the laptop sits on, as with all laptops. You also have two of the speakers uh, and the Beats 
sub under there. Um, and underneath you get the hard drive, which I upgraded to an SSD. There's also two RAM slots, which come fitted with two 8 gig DDR3 chips. Uh, then there's the Wi-Fi card, then there's another PCIe card slot for something like an SSD that isn't a SATA SSD. So, onto the inside. Very nice uh, laptop, well laid out. You get a full keyboard with a number pad on the right and your standard QWERTY keyboard on the left. The touchpad is as with all new laptops, it's one of the ones where you can click anywhere. There is a fingerprint scanner at the right, which is good. I use it. It logs on in no time. On the top, you can see there is a grate for the speaker. That's uh, for two of the speakers. Um, and then your power button is on the left screen is good, uh, it's clear, um, and as I mentioned earlier, it does rock a bit when you when you use the touch screen, but that honestly I've not found as a problem. Above the screen is the uh, integrated webcam, which is average quality. The screen doesn't go back too far. I, I would have liked it to have gone back a little bit further. But as I say, if you're just using it on your desk, it's not too much of a problem. Um, the keyboard, I think, is very nice. The keys are nice and soft to the touch. It's kind of like an Apple keyboard, but black. As you can see, it lights up, which is great for when it's dark. Playing a game in the dark, hiding from your parents, etc. I forgot to mention that the battery lasts about three to four hours on an average workload. Um, it can last a lot longer if you, you know, turn everything to the bare minimum. Uh, obviously, if you're doing gaming, it's not going to last very long at all. 